everyone, welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus, where I go around killing giant hunks of stone, sentient stone, as they come and they go and they try to kill me, or at the very least just tolerate my presence. I'm a monster, did I mention that? I digress. That's not the point of you coming here to watch me, actually it totally is, because, you know, that, that's, that's the excitement, that's the adventure. Aside from the exploration, but no one gives a shit about the exploration. In fact, I had to create a new segment just to deal with that. By the way, how's that going? I hope you guys enjoy that. You know, I tried to try to make things better for your benefit. Make things a little more tolerable. I'm just on my way going to number seven. Everyone is ready and excited for number seven. I kind of built it up in the last part. I mean, to be honest, number seven is actually the more challenging of the Colossi. It's, uh, it's the first one that can actually really pose a challenge, a lethal challenge. We may die. We may. We may not. I might be smart enough to be like, oh, hey, I know how to do this. I, I do the games. I, I can video game. And let's be honest, everyone, hey, a safe shrine. Am I not actually on the bead path to where I need to go? See, here I was thinking I was already there. I guess I've mistakenly tricked myself into thinking I was already there. I guess we have a little more exploration beforehand. You know, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. You are, you're okay with that, right? I mean, a little bit of stat increase. That, that'd be good, right? A little bit of stat increase. Everyone can, everyone could deal with that. Uh, no one can deal with the fact that I gotta go hunt down a lizard. I mean, let's be honest. Everyone's like, God damn, he killed him. Not again. I mean, if, if it's really that much of a problem, uh, here we go. Cut! I'm gonna get this bastard. This unfortunate situation where I gotta deal. Hey, there he is. All right. And oh, didn't get him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh man. Uh, I don't know if I cut it. Well, if I did, you know, resume. <laughs> that was a lot quicker than I thought. But you know, I digress. No one really gives a shit because you know it's like just me being stupid trying to hunt it down a lizard. Look, we gotta go right about right over there. Right over there. Everyone's fine with that. Everyone can deal with that. It's right over there. Right over there to success. Right over there to victory. Right over there to where I get to go hunt me down one of them colossus. Because, I mean, you know, so that's what the game is. You know, Shadow of the Colossus. Except, uh, I don't know. Am I the shadow? Is, is it supposed to be philosophical? Someone want to really explain that to me? Because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of being an idiot right here. I don't really understand the whole title of Shadow of the Colossus. Is it supposed to be their impending doom? Like, you know, it's it's the shadow. It's like the shadow of their final hour or something like that. Oh, man. That's, that's a tragic name. That's a very sad, somber sort of title. Oh, man. I, I really am the monster. I am the shadow on their life. Uh, just call me the Reaper Man, because, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go reap me some sentient stone. <laughs> I I'm a terrible person. I've always been terrible. And, I mean, like, Grand, yes, this is the first one that can kill me, but at the same time, I mean, did they really need that? Did they really deserve that? The answer is, I want my girlfriend to live again, damn it. I digress. You see those glowing things? Yeah. That's a magical thing of death right there. But, you know, trigger the next cutscene, baby. Just... Oh man, we got the ambiguous Colossus number seven, which is like, I don't know, an electric eel, a water dragon with electric spires, something along that line. You guys can say whatever you think it is, but at the same time, I mean, that's what I get. Now, 
This battle is kind of, I guess it's a little interesting in the sense that it's, unlike the fifth Colossus and everything up until this point, it all takes place in the body of water. And I mean, I'm fine with that. We got a little bit of a lake going on here. You know, this thing is just kind of chilling and swimming around. Honestly, I think this guy's pretty docile, if you ask me, because, you know, every time we, like, try to trigger his, uh, his thing so we can do the battle properly, uh, it, it, it seems like he's just kind of curious, you know? We're, we're like some sort of alien thing that's moving around in the water, and he's just like, Oh, what's this? You know, he's just kind of moving around to us. He's not really deadly, sure. Uh, he's got, like, those glowing electric spires, and yeah, as we all know, you know, water, electricity, and being human is kind of, like, a bad combination because it tends to lead to death. And case in point, I mean, this battle is no different. It will kill you, and you'll die, and you'll cry, and you'll be all sad for the rest of the day because, uh, you know, that happened to me when I first played it because I didn't understand how to do but, you know, practicing and getting older and wiser and whatever you want to say about stuff, you know, I tend to learn from my mistakes and I, I got a little wiser to the whole entire strategy to this battle. Okay, some point, you want to trigger its curiosity and just have it swim up next to you. Now, granted, it is indirectly dangerous. Or at least I feel it's indirectly dangerous. I mean, I guess it's all ambiguous to whether it's really trying to fuck us up or whether it's just curious and wants to be our new BFF. And I choose, I choose to believe the latter. My point is, I grabbed onto it. That's how we do. That's how you get the battle started. Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a monster. I gotta save my girlfriend. I mean, I guess I'm an indirectly also a monster. I mean, really, who's, who's the bigger monster here? I... It's all ambiguous. This whole part is ambiguous. Am I really stupid or am I actually a genius? No one knows. But I'll tell you what I do know. See, this thing that, yeah, it's at the base of the spire and it turns it off. That's important because, you know, electricity and water, as I stated, bad combination. Also, you know, being human, but, you know, no one gives a shit about that. What we do care about is, you know, get, not getting shot. That would be very important because, let's be honest, I want to live, you know. I don't want to do what I did when I first did this whole Colossus. Bad time. Bad time for you. Bad time for me. Stabbing, probably a little bit more success. Also, I feel bad, man. Like I said, this thing, I, I feel like it's very chill, you know? I feel like it's just kind of trying to chill out, not really do anything deadly. Uh, this is kind of annoying, though. I, I, I think this is what I've recognized through, like, practicing. When you stab two of the spires and try to move on to the third, it has a tendency to submerge uh, deeply. I don't know if that's something specific that is triggered or if it's just when you do that, but my point is, um, yeah, it submerges and it, it drains your stamina. It's a little annoying, not gonna lie. Sure, I could cut it out, but I mean, the reality is, like, that, that's just kind of how the pattern works. So. From there on out, you just gotta trigger its curiosity again. I'm gonna call it curiosity ambiguous. Hmm, okay. Anyways, so you trigger its curiosity, you do this thing that you did, you know, it's a pretty rinse and repeat sort of situation where, you know, that's, that's how you climb on top of, you know, our ambiguous aquatic friend here. Which, you know, I, I, I do feel guilty, but at the same time, you know, girlfriend, you know, she, she's counting on us. Anyways, I, from what I've recognized and what I've seen, it's a pretty straightforward process from here on out, you see. Uh, we, we stab the two things, don't have to worry about them, the only thing we really have to worry about is just uh, the submerging parts. Because, you know, it, that's what it does, it bobs in and out of the water, and so it's like, uh, that, that can be haphazardous, and you can't really move when you're submerged. That's something I do have to admit, drains your stamina, that's why uh, it's, a little, it's a little annoying. You can't really, like, stab it in water either, you're just kind of, you're just kind of stuck grabbing onto it. I don't know if I really explained that, but yeah, that, that's kind of that's kind of the other parts of the battle. But regardless, 
it's it's pretty much the same thing over and over again you know we, we're just here chilling just trying to like do what we've done with the other spire just with this one instead you know because that's that's the other part of the battle you know and also don't get too close don't get too close i got shocked there it hurts a lot not a good time <laughs> not in the slightest man okay but all that said yeah we just turn it off and then uh well, it's pretty much straightforward. You got the glyph. You know what? All you gotta do is just position yourself, and then you know our, our aquatic friend. You know we're just we're just we're just gonna give him a love tap. You know that that's that's how I have to justify this. You know, just gonna give him a little bit of love. We're just gonna give him a little bit of a love tap, just for your sake and my sake. You know, we're gonna share our love. You know, just just because I have so much to give and so much to have like here for you. Aquatic ambiguous fish man, uh, you you you're my new BFF. You know you're curious. I I love you a lot. <laughs> Thank you for submerging and making my life a lot easier. I really appreciate it. You're my new best friend. You're like Falcor Bell, aquatic version of Falcor. <laughs> he's 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 happy. See, he makes happy sounds. <laughs> I don't feel guilty about my actions, I feel like they're all justified. Some of you would disagree, but, you know, no, Aquatic Falcor, why? What have I done? I think I gave him too many love taps, just he can't do it, he, no, he's drowning. I really am a monster, viewers. I'm never gonna look at myself the same way again. I'm gonna go to a mirror and I'm I'm gonna see a horrific image. It's gonna be like Silent Hill, except real life. And then I'm gonna need therapy. It's not good, but you know the interesting thing about this whole entire situation. I'm trying to run. I'm trying to run away, or swim away in this case. I'm trying to go to the spiral little walkway. Um, yeah, we got the musical tune. You know, we're we're just trying to swim away. We got the thing going. Uh, it takes a oh, it takes a while for that to happen. I'll tell you that much. It's a little, it kind of just sneaks up on you when you least expect it. But at the same time, I mean, I, I'm still a monster. There's no change to that. I don't know what. Man, I feel like half these claws are either docile or nothing. They're just like, they just want to be my friend. Really, what have I done? Sure, maybe they're aggressive when I get up to them, or you know, maybe not even that. That guy, Aquatic Falcor, I mean, he's, he's pretty chill. Ugh, I, I, I'm at a loss of words. I, I don't know what to say. I, I'm guilt. Guilt written. Oh boy, number eight. By the way, after this guy, halfway done. Halfway done. And let me tell you something. Number eight, completely the opposite of the last couple of Colossi. He's just he's just a whole different can of worms. You have no idea. He's the first real aggressive Colossus. Like, you have no idea. I mean, sure, you could say some of the other Colossus were aggressive. We Like, we've met a couple. Number three comes to mind. But that said... This guy, oh, he's on a whole different level of killability. Anyways, that's not the point. I'm, it's pretty much just a straight 
path forward to where I need to go. Sure, you could go off the bean path, explore a lot. There's there's no field right to the left, or no, right, right to the right of the path that we're going to. I'm not going to do it because, to be honest, I don't need to. I really don't. Uh, I beefed up before the fight with number six. I'm fine with how I look, how I am. In fact, I did a little bit of extra exploration at the beginning of the part, so I think I'm well suited to handle the next challenge that I got going. So, all that said, there's not really a whole lot else to discuss other than, I mean, we gotta get to the entrance, right? That's what we're trying to do. Just gotta go through this little bit of a low path. Uh, I don't really know if this is technically a ravine, because it's not quite so narrow. Although, I mean, th this kind of ravine-esque. But yeah, there's a little bit, there's a little yeah. cave opening right over here. We're, we're just going to get there. I figure this is probably a good place to end it off, you know. This is pretty, this is pretty iconic for a good, a good part. You know, I, I did good. I feel like I done good. Like, I feel like Gilliam did a thing. Except I'm still guilty and I feel bad and I'm a monster and I, <laughs> I have so many issues right now. I, I'm, I'm going to go to therapy. I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank mm -hmm. you.